on everybody? I am MJC here and in the, today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get the Scout and Commander buff and also a few locations for the investigation and collectibles in Destiny 2. So let's get started. So you'll notice if you come to this bonfire kind of at the corner of the farm it says require Century Rank 4. Now in order to get that there are a few arbitrary steps I guess you have to do to activate the buff. So go ahead and make your way to the rooftop of this building, right next to the fire. You can kind of scale the side here, maybe do it a little bit cleaner than I am right now. But once you get to the top, you're going to jump on this stack and position yourself to fall onto this wire. Once you walk across, you'll notice on the left hand side of the screen, you get a buff, Sentry Rank 2. Once you get that buff, go ahead and turn around and your character should turn a nice shade of blue that's normal. After that go ahead and jump off and head over to the other side of the building with these stacks and you're pretty much going to do the same thing. Just position yourself not to fall too much. Go ahead and make your way across and then we're going to be going on the uh, windmill up here. And just as this guy is doing we're just going to walk across for a while. And on the left hand side that century rank 2 should grow to century rank 4 just like that. Now we can go back to the fire and activate the whatever. <laughs> Alright, so once we're at the beacon, go ahead and activate it. We're going to start the scouting patrol. And there's going to be a series of beacons that light up. Go ahead and just jump through them. You'll hear a little noise knowing that you activated it. And then simply just find the other ones. Okay, that's two. Number three is on top of the observatory. Pretty easy to get to with the buff. Be sure not to uh, jump from too high of a height because if you die, your buff will be gone and you'll have to restart and nobody wants to do that. Okay. Is this one? Is that one? Here, kind of blended in with the sky a bit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and when the beacon appears on the dock, that should be the last one. Alright, and it even gives you a completion time and little fireworks show for your accomplishment. But once you have the buff, you're able to get all the investigation collectibles. So the first one is going to be right at the base of the dock, or right above the dock, I'm sorry. Go ahead and jump up a few times and you'll find a sniper rifle on top of some sandbags. Go ahead and interact with it and your ghost should give you some dialogue. Okay, I've already found them so my ghost won't do it again. But the second one is along the same cliffside. It's going to be this uh, sleeping bag, some books, and some water. That's the second location. Okay, and the third location is going to be over here. Tyra, you're doing a great job. If anyone is there we go. I guess I haven't found that one yet. <laughs> we'll see what the ghost has to say. A shard of the traveler. I can't find any record of why it's here or how it got here. We're a long way from the city, you know. I want to believe it's here for a reason. For us. 
Okay. And the fourth one is going to be in the very back. Oh, that might be a death. Cool. Right here, it's just another sniper rifle with some sandbags. So those are all the locations I found. I've tried for about an hour to find every nook and cranny inside the farm. So if I've missed one, I apologize. Maybe you guys could leave something down in the comments letting me know. But I want to thank you for sticking with me in this video, and I'll see everybody in the next one.